For quite some time now, Starbase has been a notable name in the space industry. It has been a significant development hub for SpaceX programs, especially the much-acclaimed Starship program. This facility, sprawled over a 100-acre, houses some of SpaceX's most ambitious projects, with the well-known Starship program being the cornerstone. This giant rocket, designed to carry humans and cargo to Mars and beyond, is built and tested right here at Starbase. This facility's significance was underscored by the recent launch of the Starship on April 20th. This launch marked a significant milestone for SpaceX, as it demonstrated the capability of the Starship to perform the high-altitude test flight. However, recent shifts in strategy and changes in the leadership structure of the facility have piqued interest in the industry. In this video, we will delve into these leadership changes and the intriguing reasons behind them. Musk has always been celebrated for his innovative leadership that has shaped companies like Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and The Boring Company. Managing a single pioneering company is an enormous undertaking that requires immense dedication and a capacity to handle substantial pressure. Yet Musk, in his typical audacious style, manages not just one, but several industry-leading companies. His workdays are often filled with back-to-back -back meetings, cross-country travels, and endless decision-making, all while striving to maintain a balance between his work and personal life. This dynamic became even more complex when Musk, in a rather controversial move, decided to add yet another behemoth to his portfolio, Twitter. His acquisition of one of the world's most influential social media platforms for a reported $44 billion has set tongues wagging across the global tech community. With this audacious move, Musk's responsibilities have expanded exponentially, and his time has become even more precious. Hence, when reports surfaced that Musk was stepping back from his usual operational supervision at Starbase, it raised many eyebrows. Speculation ran wild with hypotheses that Musk might be giving up on Starbase and redirecting his attention to other ventures. However, these seemed implausible, considering that this facility, with its advanced infrastructures custom designed to support the Starship program, plays a critical role in Musk's grand vision of interplanetary colonization. The news of his retreat from day-to-day -day operations at Starbase might be understood within the context of his latest acquisition of Twitter. It's only natural that such a colossal investment would necessitate a redistribution of his focus. The immense scale and influence of Twitter, combined with the complexity of its operations, demand more than just an oversight. The next question then is who Musk has chosen to assume the reins at Starbase, a critical facility for SpaceX. The individuals entrusted with this significant responsibility needed to be not only highly qualified, but also trusted by Musk himself. The individuals who fit these criteria are none other than Gwen Shotwell and Mark Hoon Kassa, the president and vice president of SpaceX, respectively. Their appointment to take over the operations at Starbase underscores the facility's importance. Shotwell will now oversee the organization of the Starship program and the Starbase facilities. Meanwhile, a couple of months ago, SpaceX executive Mark Hoon Kassa took over the technical command of the Starship development. Known for his bold and unconventional engineering approach, Kassa has been effectively directing the Starlink program since Musk dismissed several too conservative executives in 2018. But that's not all. In a strategic and highly anticipated move, Musk brought on board Kathy Luders, too, the esteemed former human spaceflight official at NASA. Marking a significant milestone in her illustrious career, Luders joined SpaceX following her recent retirement from a staggering 31 years at NASA. Reporting directly to Gwyn Shotwell, Luders' appointment holds tremendous importance for the future of Starbase. In addition to all this, Omid Afshar has been covertly hired for the space project to serve as the vice president of Starship production. With these capable individuals at the helm, it is safe to say that Starbase is in competent hands. With a solid leadership team now in place, SpaceX is forging ahead with ambitious plans for Starbase. As part of these plans, SpaceX began dismantling old structures, including the triangular windbreak initially intended to shield welding operations. With the arrival of taller buildings, these older structures have become obsolete, paving the way for this grand expansion. SpaceX aims to complete this factory in several phases to ensure smooth manufacturing operations. 
Current reports suggest that we might be looking at a potential construction space of around 100,000 square feet, a figure that matches the current development area. The cost of this expansion could reach around $32.5 million, according to industry rumors. There are speculations that this new facility, aptly dubbed the Star Factory, will house a large pit, speculated to serve as a significant press pit, akin to the gigapress used in Tesla's gigafactories. If these reports are accurate, the Star Factory could revolutionize Starship production, churning out Starships at an unprecedented rate. SpaceX's audacious plan is to produce one to two Starships per week and pare back construction costs to as low as $2 million each. Some sources even suggest that Musk is aiming for a $2 million price tag per launch. It is indeed a bold goal, one that completely shatters conventional space paradigms. You might indeed be curious, asking yourself, why does SpaceX need to expand an already gigantic facility? Don't they already have a solid infrastructure in place? The answer to this lies deeply rooted in the ambitious vision of Musk. Musk doesn't just see SpaceX as a company that launches satellites or resupplies the International Space Station. He envisions it as a catalyst for transforming humanity into a multi-planetary species. Despite these changes, it's strange not to see Musk's regular visits to Starbase. His dedication to SpaceX is so intense that he regularly visited the facility despite his numerous other commitments. However, these visits have become less frequent. While Musk is expected to continue visiting Starbase for major events, his primary focus is now directed towards Twitter. Twitter has seen a raft of changes since Musk took charge, shaping the social media network in line with his philosophy. Known for advocating for fewer restrictions and more freedom of speech, Musk has made some dramatic alterations. Notably, he has lifted the ban on major personalities like former President Donald Trump and social media personality Andrew Tate, among others. These changes signify Musk's intent to transform Twitter into a platform more open to freedom of speech. How do you think will these leadership changes influence SpaceX's future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on SpaceX.